The rumor mill is churning out an RS version of Porsche's new 911 GT3. BMW's i8 will be in Frankfurt, a blindfolded magician takes F1 vet David Coulthard for a lap, and a semi-truck was apparently listening to R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly. Plus, commenter of the week, of course, AK. Yes, of course. Yes, what's up, ladies and gents? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily, coming at you right now. BMW's i8 EV sports car feels like it has been around for years already. They've been teasing that thing for what feels like forever. But now, we finally see the production version when it debuts at this year's Frankfurt Motor Show next month. Worldcarfans.com got a few spy shots of it where you can basically see what the production version is going to look like. The i8 is all about performance paired up with fuel economy, and BMW will show the model alongside its new i3, city car. This isn't confirmed, but we can expect a turbo three banger along with an electric engine to power the i8. Zero to 60 should be a solid sub five seconds and fuel economy should be around how many MPGs you think AK? I don't know Derek, why don't you tell us? Max? 36. Wrong, 75 miles per gallon. Wow. You're a little way wow. off. Wow. It's pretty I wouldn't damn, even guess that. Yeah, pretty damn good. Also, if you're going to be at the Frankfurt show, you'll be able to drive some of the BM Dub's newest models on a small track that they're preparing just for the show, which is cool. That's so great. cool. Yeah. In related news, when the car was asked if it was hungry, it responded, no, I ate. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Usually explosive truck crashes are reserved for cinematic special effects, but a truck driver captured a real-life action movie playing out right in front of him. Apparently, an 18-wheeler swerved to avoid a car coming into its lane, then proceeded to launch up a grass highway overpass. And when I say launch, I mean that thing caught some serious hang time, almost like it was flying. Then crash lands and bursts into flames. Very fortunately, whatever he was trailering burst into flames and not the actual rig. The driver escaped with only minor injuries. That's a lucky dude right there. And the guy driving the rig with the camera was lucky too, because if he left a little sooner that morning, maybe he had to get a coffee first, he might have been right in the way of it as it flew across the highway. Yeah. Or maybe if he didn't stop to get coffee, because he would have been ahead of himself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Former Formula One driver David Coulthard definitely knows his way around a track. What if, what if you put him in the passenger seat, then put him on a makeshift circuit, then put a blindfolded magician behind the wheel? If you said you get David Coulthopperfield, well, you'd be just as clever as me. Oh, sure. <laughs> Come on. David Copperfield. Yeah. Anyway, Mercedes released this video of the British magician Dynamo taking a shotgun lap with David around the track. Then he hops in the driver's seat after letting Mr. Coulthard blindfold him. He drives around the track that he has apparently memorized. Now, before he starts, he asks David to guess his time. And no, he doesn't get that time. He reveals what it was in huge flaming numbers on the track. It's pretty, pretty cool. Wild. In the beginning, though, I kind of felt like Coulthard wasn't interested. He kind of seemed very disinterested mm. sure. into the whole yeah. thing. But if you want to see that whole video, the linkage is in the descriptage. And it's a lot better than that Mercedes Service Department song, I'll tell you that. You only give your best, won't stop until I smile. Okay. Porsche has only revealed its hardcore track-ready 911 GT3, and rumors are already circulating about the even more gloriously quick RS version. Late next year, Porsche is expected to introduce the RS with a projected 475 of these. <laughs> or even more horsepower, Max. Yeah. From a 3.8 or 4 liter flat six engine. The same PDK transmission from the GT3 will carry over, but the RS will gain improved steering, a beefed up suspension, an electronic differential, lighter weight materials, and if I'm not mistaken, anyone who buys one will receive 37 cool points. Cool. 37. So that, that counts towards your overall point. Those, yeah, those go right on your insurance, right? Yeah, exactly. AK, do you know what time it is? I've been waiting seven days for this, Derek D, but I, it's Commenter of the Week. Time. Time. Commenter of the Week. Comment our show, yeah, Commenter of the Week. Derek, this week, Mr. D, I think the fans at home should give it a try. Ready on three. One, two, three. I, I heard you do it.
Thank that's awesome. Did you guys hear them? Yeah, yeah. I did. Amazing. Thanks. Good job, you guys, for yelling comments. This comment comes from none other than Clark Kent. And he said, hey, Derek D, you know, you're really good at giving us YouTube fans great car news, but I think you should consider Broadway or maybe a singing career. That little sample you gave us wasn't bad. All I'm saying is think about it. But keep up the amazing work, Derek, and the team. Thanks. Well, first off, let me say I appreciate that the Man of Steel watches fast. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean Clark Kent, the guy who works for the Daily Planet and looks just like Superman when he takes his glasses off. Yeah. Right? Anyway, I'll have you know that I can carry a little bit of a tune if I do say so myself. I've actually done theater and musicals in the past. I've always said we should do one episode of Fast Lane Daily in the form of song. And FLD, the musical, if you will. But we would have to actually do the news in the form of song. So maybe it would sound something like this. BMW's I-80 V. Sports car feels like it's been around for so many years. I'm teasing this thing. But I, I actually, AK, I feel like I need to cut the music. I feel like I need something else there. Like an MPG, maybe? Oh, talk about the MPGs or something there. All right, back to the top. Let's do it again. Let's try it, let's check it, try it again. B, 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 M, W, I, A, T, V. Sports car been around for years. You're going to get so much mileage with that gas. And the electric, all right, we're going to work on it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're going to work on it. But I think we got something. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got something there. That was awesome. That's good. That was good. I don't think I need really this good. anymore. It was really good there. So, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, that was a little up-tempo version. Maybe we'll have slower songs. Who knows? We'll work on something. We'll work on something. But thanks for commenting, Superman. <coughs> Clark Kent. Appreciate that he Be watches the show. That. Loved your movie recently, too. I didn't even see it. But uh, um, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. A new episode of FLD Tours will be airing on Wednesday, just FYI. That's August 7th. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your Monday. FastLaneDaily.com, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Instagram, T-shirts, FLD app, and Vine. Erica, hit it. B-B-W-I-A-E-V. The car's been around for so long. Oh man, what a wreck! It's gonna be a Frankfurt. Ah, yeah, we gotta work on it. Derek D, what do you like most about Fast Lane Daily? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hold on, Wait, I think it's. All right, Derek D, what's your favorite thing about Fast Lane Daily? Well, that it's fast and fresh, and it's every single day. So can I ask you a personal question? No. Before you shoot the show, do you like go off into the corner and just kind of like meditate for a few minutes? Kind of meditate and focus and get focus, my, just get get myself in order. Have a good show today, Derek. D. Thank you, AK. I uh, I plan on it. Right there. <laughs> there it is, right there. <laughs>